The molten rock stored beneath volcanoes, called magma, contains dissolved gases, which are released during eruptions, or emitted when the volcano is quiet, escaping through the soil, hot springs, lakes and gas vents called fumaroles. There are several types of volcanic gas. Some form a cloud that looks like fog, known as VOG. Other times, the gases are invisible. The most common gas is water vapour, or steam. Steam plumes can often be seen reaching high into the atmosphere above volcanoes. There can be substantial amounts of other gases, which can sometimes be toxic to people and animals, and damage crops and property. Carbon dioxide is colourless and odourless. This means you can't see it or smell it. It's heavier than air, so it can collect in low-lying areas, lakes and confined spaces. Even short exposure to too much carbon dioxide can cause unconsciousness and death. Other gases contain sulphur. These are colourless, but some have a strong smell, like rotten eggs. Sulphurous gases irritate your skin, eyes, nose and throat. The smell can act as a warning, but it disappears at high concentrations where it becomes highly toxic, causing unconsciousness and death. Long-range hazards can form when gases react with rainwater to form acid rain and sunlight in the atmosphere to create particles which can cause health impacts even hundreds of kilometres from the volcano. Large eruptions can produce such enormous amounts of gas that the world's climate can be affected for years as the gas acts to block out some of the sun's energy. Persistent plumes of volcanic gas may cause long-term damage to agriculture and to people's health. However, normally volcanic gases become harmless as they are diluted quickly in the air. Scientists monitor volcanic gases during and between eruptions. Monitoring can allow for warnings when gas levels are potentially hazardous. <laughs>